Hey guys, this is Alex from Kids Lox Labs. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to use one more great time tracking feature, Kids Lox Timer. As you may know, Kids Lox also allows you to set daily limits and schedules. You can find the time tracking options under the Time tab. Let's check how the timer feature works. In order to use the timer, you will need to disable daily limits for the day. You can do this under the Daily Limits tab, as it is not possible to use these features at the same time. Once the Daily Limits feature is disabled, Timer is automatically made available. Now, when you swipe the toggle and change the mode to Lockdown, you will see the question – when do you want Lockdown mode to activate? You could choose right now if you want an instant change. If you want to allow a period of child mode for your child to use the device, all you need to do is to choose how long for on the timer, and the device will remain in child mode until the time you chose. Then the timer will automatically change the device to lockdown mode. When you manually swipe the toggle to child mode, you will also get a question – how long do you want child mode to be active for? If you don't want to limit your child, you can just choose until I say. If you choose a specific length of time, the timer will start, and when the time is over, the device will go to lockdown mode. Please note that the timer counts time even if the device is not being used, for example, when the screen is disabled. That's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful for you. Watch all our videos to get more from Kids Locks. Have a nice day.